Hello. I told you uh, some time ago that uh, I guess it almost a month ago I told you uh, I was going to make a a video about my latest latest trip to um, Austria it was a month ago I told you I guess something like that and uh, yeah so it is about five or six weeks I went there on work and um, I don't know what I'm gonna put in the background it's pretty boring just to look at my shamug but um, I don't know what to put in the background. <laughs> My flashlight, maybe. No, I don't know. Uh, I got a knife. A sharky, maybe. Yeah, my first belt buckle I got. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Back then, even back then, I knew that uh, some some would work with something military related in the future. It's a U.S. Marine Corps belt buckle. I, I guess I had this when I was 12, 13, something like that. It's real beat up. I love this thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I went to Austria to do some work and I got the opportunity to uh, shoot some of their uh, weapons they used in their, their armed forces. So uh, I, I shot the Glock 17, I have shot it before many times, many hundred thousand rounds. Uh, we used the Glock 17 in Sweden as our sidearm as well. And of course they do as well. Uh, we call it Pistol 88, Pistol 88, but um, they call it Pistole 80. Um, I don't know, but I think that was the year they took it in service. I don't know, but maybe I'm wrong. Don't quote me on that. So, uh, yeah, we shot that in a friendly competition uh, just for fun. But the new stuff I shot that I have never shot before was, uh, was uh, the Steyr AUG uh, or the STG 77 service rifle. They, they, are, they are the. Uh, their battle, main battle rifle, ma main uh, service rifle, and uh, it's a gas operated rifle. Um, 5.56 five, by 45 millimeter NATO. Uh, it's, it's my first bullpup experience, it's a bullpup rifle. And for you who don't know what a bullpup rifle is, it's basically when basically when uh, the magazine is behind your pistol grip. So uh, you uh, if the ri the magazine sits in the stock behind the pistol grip, and that have. A very very good upside it's uh, the rifle the battle rifle the the barrel on the rifle can be as long as a let's say a M M4 or a M16 but the rifle gets more compact just because the um, uh, what's the name? The magazine sits almost back, almost uh, for 
as far back in the rifle that it can. <laughs> uh, so the rifle gets more compact. And uh, the rifle, they told me, as I said, I have no experience with bullpups before. But they told me that um, they have four different kind of barrels for them. Uh, one 13 point eight inches one sixteen inches one twenty inches and one one twenty four dot four inches um twenty inches is the car uh, is uh, the carbine barrel and uh, the twenty four dot four inches is the submachine is uh, in, um, not the submachine no, uh, multi-purpose machine gun barrel. Uh, you change the barrel very, very quick by twist the foregrip very fast, very modular. But uh, the thing, thing I don't like, just because I guess, just because I'm not used to them, is the reloads. But I'm pos positive about that that you can get the hang of those uh, reloads in training. I, they were pretty fast with them. So um, if you train with them, you you probably gonna be as fast as when the magazines feeds in front of the pistol grip. Um, but if you don't use to it, it's a uh, I, I, I did at least think it was a little bit tricky to get the fast reloads. Um, excellent weapon, po polymer uh, parts, light. One thing I didn't like was the standard sights on them. Uh, I didn't like them at all, but uh, there are always uh, other sights you can put on, put on them, so... Uh, I, get, I don't remember, I think it was something about 700 rounds per minute thing, something like that. Um, yeah, I didn't shoot it much, I shot uh, I think maybe 90, 90, 100 rounds, something like that. I just tried it, my first bullpup experience and the... I guess uh, I guess I liked it. I like the rifle, and with some training, training you can be really efficient with it. So uh, yeah. Then the other one, I just tried 50 rounds. Uh, one uh, uh, 50 rounds. It uh, was the multi-purpose machine gun. Uh, MG 74 slash mg3 and if you don't know who the what they look like they pretty much looks like the mg42 that uh, the german army used during uh, world war ii there have been some changes but the overall look of it it's uh, like the mg42 from world war ii and that tells you one thing, if a rifle stays in service that long, the Germans had one hell of an uh, idea when they constructed that uh, machine gun. It's still in service, with some small changes, but basically the same rifle uh, or uh, machine gun. That tells you that the rifle is very well, over 60 years in service, so... Um, yeah, uh, I didn't uh, try it much, just 50 rounds. Um, uh, it's the cab caliber is uh, 762 by 51 millimeter NATO, and this the MG MG. 74 slash mg3 was constructed in west it was made in west germany in 
was the fifth, late 50s, early 60s, I think. Don't quote me on that either, but just from memory. Yeah, they do, did some small changes from the World War II uh, machine gun, but it's basically, basically the same machine gun. I liked it a lot. It's uh, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Um, I don't like that it's not very easy to uh, use, let's say, standing or um, uh, crouched, but the best way to use it is, uh, yeah, of course, it's with all uh, machine guns used with tripods, but um, the sub uh, the um, oh I'm starting to get tired here. Um, the um, ma machine guns we have in Sweden, we can even the heavy ones we can at least shoot from the hip with, um, and the lighter machine guns we can shoot excellent from from the shoulder. But um, th this one was a bit easy, a bit hard to do that. So you basically have to use uh, tripods, but yeah, uh, they are uh, they use them on tanks, they use them on cars, so uh, they are very good stationary machine guns, I guess, on vehicles or things like that, where you shoot from one position. Uh, yeah, those were the two new experiences I had in Austria this time. Uh, if you ever go to Austria, you should go to um, Vienna. If you go to Vienna in Austria, you should go to, to the military, uh, military museum there. Uh, it's a bit on the outskirts of... Uh, Vienna. It basically mostly about Austrian military history, but Austria has been involved in uh, many big wars in Europe. Uh, World War One, World War Two, the Napoleon Wars, many wars. So. The link together with all, all other countries war um, history so uh, it's a very good museum they got I guess from the 16th century to 1945 I guess to the end of World War II uniforms weapons infantry weapons uh, artillery Napoleon, uh, Renaissance, World War II, World War One, you name it, they got it. Uh, they have tanks as well, but not, at least when I was there, oh nine, I guess, they didn't have as many tanks as uh, I hoped, but um, yeah, it's a very good museum. And if you're in Vienna, Go to the Habsburg Palace in um, in Vienna as well. Uh, the treasure chambers there is excellent, and uh, the armory as well. So uh, if you are in Vienna and are just a bit interested in military history or history at all, go there. Yeah. Okay. See you soon.